Now to Russia, where in a rare show of defiance, tens of thousands of people took to the streets across the nation to protest against Prime Minister Vladimir Putin and a legacy of corruption. Some voters mobilized in favor of Putin, who is seeking an unprecedented third term as president next month. Elizabeth Palmer is in Moscow tonight with more on the protests. With the wind chill, it was minus 13. As determined opposition groups started their march through central Moscow to the main rally. Cold like this is a real test of political conviction, but in spite of the temperature, thousands of Russians did come out today from across the political spectrum to demand clean elections. Young liberals joined forces with old communists and even extreme right-wing nationalists, all of them united in their opposition to Russia's leader, Vladimir Putin. Corruption, bribes, injustice, says Dmitry. This outrage can't continue. I'm here to say no to Putin and the government. A government which rigged last December's parliamentary elections, says the opposition, to give Putin's party a clear majority. Widespread outrage then sent a wave of furious Russians into the streets. Pavel Vasilyev, a successful banker, was with them. He'd volunteered as an election monitor and saw with his own eyes what he believes was blatant fraud. This is what they counted after the stuffing, okay? This is what they've got. Pavel told us that officials at his polling station crudely subtracted 20 votes from each leading opposition candidate and gave them to Putin's man. When they stuffed the ballots, they needed to make sure that they, they can cook, still cook the books. When Pavel tried to object, he says he was escorted away by the police. Today's protesters want to make sure nothing like that happens next month, when Vladimir Putin runs once again for president. They accept that he will probably win, but hope that a clean election will reveal cracks in his support and hasten democratic reforms. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, Moscow.